Yeah, it's an amazing track they built here. Um, I think it's just going to get better when all the facilities are up and, and you have a proper proper pit complex and stuff. But the track itself is, is amazing. Love the, the fast corners here, especially in the beginning. And uh, the tarmac, even yesterday in the wet, was amazing. Amazing to drive on. I think it's uh, the difference is compared to our other circuits is you have to be a little bit more patient because you're running but probably a, a longer gear uh, here just because of the top speed you, you can't be that aggressive into the corners so it's just learning that patience on the throttle which is something that's very like European style we, we sort of call it and I think once the track rubbers in it's going to be like almost perfect exactly uh, a good example of a European track. Yeah, I'd love love for a Rotax Grand Finals to get here. I think uh, this is the perfect place to, to have it once it's set up and, and, and good to go. And I think everybody will like coming here. Quite exciting to race at a new track. Um, we've been fortunate to learn new tracks over the years, but this is one special track. Um, it's in our hometown. I live about 20 minutes down the road, so this can, can become a home track. Um, your years of experience come and play a big role in learning new circuits. So the more you've driven in different conditions, the more you you know what to feel and what it should feel like and you can try and get to that same thing. Whereas this circuit is going to evolve over the next few months, years I guess. Um, awesome track, drove it a bit in the wet this morning. I've never felt so much grip in the rain. Nice because there's not so much rubber but in the dry it needs to build up a bit of rubber so the track will constantly change. Uh, same car, same chassis, just the difference is I'm going to race in the Masters this year. So we've had to bolt 8 kilos of lead onto the cart. So that's the new Masters weight for World Finals. So We've got to try and learn to set up a cart with all the extra lead on. Oh, it's lovely to have a new track in the country. Um, I feel like it puts everyone on a bit of an even footing again. And it's also a very European style circuit compared to what we used to here. So I think it's going to be a good challenge and it'll set people up well for going to the World Final. I also just hope I have a good start here and that I have a good championship head. Having not raced the year before because of a car accident and coming back you know, you're a little bit out of the groove and I don't get to practice as much as everyone else does. So it took a while to get into things. And just when we thought we had things figured out, something would happen and then, you know, it's a bit of an uphill struggle again. Yeah, I think the biggest challenge this year is that we hear there's only one Masters ticket available for the World Finals. So that's the one that we, that's basically based on the SA Championship. So the fact that there's one of a, a nationals here, so that's why we are testing to get up to speed for maybe the national later in the year. I think the first sector, will they'll probably have to stick with the first sector, which is an awesome sector, and probably the last sector coming back on the main straight. So those are the, probably the best two. The middle's a bit tricky, but I suppose it throws another aspect uh, to the whole challenge of um, a long circuit, if you want to call it, but yeah, it gives you the whole European uh, feel and I think it's good for, for, for the local drivers to get that feel of a, a European circuit. Because you got to change your driving style to a point, but yeah, it's, I think it's a really good job he, they've done here and it's good for SA Karting. I think the starting of a new season and a new circuit, it's, I think it's really exciting for everybody. Uh, we have uh, one of like I think the top circuits uh, in South Africa at the moment. Um, surface is great. Uh, the whole layout is is really brilliant, um, and just adding more to the list in the year. So um, I think yep, everyone's excited and a little bit nervous at the end of the day. And um, I think uh, also trying to understand what to actually do on the carts or how our setups look like. It's actually quite tough, but um, I think it's coming together. You can see the times are, are really coming down quite fast. I think overall for the circuit we actually have a lot of overtaking points. I think certain certain carters will actually master certain areas of the of the track and actually better in those areas against their competitors. That's an awesome track. It's longer than we used to. It's 1.6 kilometers um, and uh, a lot to learn. It hasn't got much rubber on it as yet, so it's going to develop. But it's uh, something for the future, so it's very exciting. Our guys go to Europe. Um, and they're not used to anything there in terms of the lengths of the tracks, the types of corners that they have, and the, and the gearing. So much longer gearing is run on the longer tracks. So they're not used to it. Um, when they come here, it's a world-class uh, facility. The tar is also different to what we used to. It's much smoother. Uh, there are no bumps on the circuit. Uh, and that's the type of uh, conditions they, they experience when they go to Europe. So I think it's vitally important. And I think it's, we are just so lucky, uh, especially the people that live in Gauteng, we're so lucky to have uh, this additional facility.